The third and final day of what has been a Toyota and more specifically Calais Rovampera dominated Rally Estonia. Six stages between himself and his fifth victory of 2022. Further down the field, and it was a bad start to the day for M Sport when Pierre Louis Loubet heavily damaged the front left suspension of his Ford Puma after hitting a rock. Unable to make running repairs, the Frenchman was forced to retire. Teammate Gus Greensmith also found himself on the DNF list. The British driver stopped with terminal transmission issues. Up at the front, Rov and Pera, despite not finding the perfect rhythm, took the day's opening stage win, extending his rally lead to 29.8 seconds. It was uh, not the enjoyable morning stage, to be honest. But, uh, but yeah, we made it through, so that's the, the only, only point what we wanted to do, and hopefully we can enjoy the proper stage now. Adrian Formo was lucky to get away with this big moment at the 15 kilometer mark of stage 20. The Frenchman remained sixth overall and highest of the M Sport cars. I think I was a little bit less wide than the, than the other drivers. I don't know who it was. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, for sure. Actually, it's like there was only one line in front of us. Uh, so it's really, really narrow lines and uh, it's really easy to get wide and lose time. So yeah, it's not easy. There's a lot of sweeping, so it was dry, but yeah, it's okay. It was a clean stage for us. I was enjoying, but it was tricky. The difficult conditions also caught out Elvin Evans in exactly the same spot as Formo. He also got away with it, but crucially dropped more time to Rov and Pera. The gap now 38.8 seconds. Yeah, it just uh, obviously came in a bit hot, but the rear end snapped quite violently in the braking, so it was better to just let it spin, to be honest. There's plenty of area, so it was okay, but uh, not, not the slightest. Hyundai's Thierry Neuville still unhappy with the setup of his i20. He took a trip into the bushes on stage 21 and had an overshoot on stage 22. Damage limitation, the Belgian remains on course for fourth place. I have zero confidence in this condition with the car. Incredible. We are driving like on X. Esapekka Lappi putting in some hot times, taking the stage win on 22 and 23, helped by the rain. Nevertheless, the Finn would have been right there at the business end had he not picked up that puncture on Saturday. Just the power stage remained, but the Estonian weather was not done yet. The heavens opened, dramatically reducing the pace, and for a while, WRC2 winner Andreas Mikkelsen, who had already completed the stage in better conditions, was the pace setter. Thierry Neuville completed the rally in fourth overall, but without any power stage points, while Oik Tanak only managed sixth fastest in the power stage, but confirmed third place overall. I guess long time we know what to do and, and uh, we just need to, to start doing what we need to do, so the potential is there, but uh, it was very challenging uh, end of the rally again. On the beginning of previous stage I lost the rear brakes and driving it out now, I think we were lucky the conditions showed tricky, so Let's say the, the brakes were the least the problem at the moment. Up at the front though, Elvin Evans could do nothing about the pace of his teammate. The Welshman once again had to settle for second. Yeah, I mean, it's been a pretty fast pace right from the, the word go. You know, I think uh, we've enjoyed a lot of the time in the car. Not all because uh, the weather's been pretty tricky at times. Um, yeah, I have to take my hat off to Calais. You know, I had no answer to his to his speed but ultimately still I think we were all driving uh, pretty well you know um, so yeah uh, fingers crossed for him now in these tricky conditions and uh, hopefully another strong result for the team. It has been perhaps the most impressive drive of Calais Rovampera's short WRC career. The young Finn notched up 13 stage victories including the power stage and confirmed as the overall winner making it five wins from seven starts this year. It was great again. Big thanks to Jonne, it was a difficult weekend. We, we drove really well. Thanks to the team also, everybody are making the cars fast and uh, fast and tough. We made a really big job on the test to make the car comfortable here. And uh, also big thanks to Akio. It's, uh, it's great to be in the team and we are doing a great job. So thank you and we continue to push forward. He now has 175 points in the Drivers' Championship. Next in line comes Thierry Neuville on 92, with Elvin Evans rounding out the top three with 79 points. Rovampera's domination has battered the rest of the service park, 
And as we head for his home rally of Finland, we can expect the young gun to come out even more hungry for a win. Who has been your driver of the weekend? Let us know in the comments section. We go again in Finland in three weeks' time.